Hey, tonight, Mike Hill hanging out with our NBA analyst, Jalen Rose. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Sorry, so the Clippers were supposed to not only take over L.A., but be a serious contender in the West. Hasn't quite gotten off to the start. Many people expected of them. But what do you see between the chemistry between Chris Paul being in the mix with the rest of the crew? Now, besides the Oklahoma City Thunder, the West is wide open, and they will make the playoffs for the fifth time since 1979. Chris Paul running a pick and roll at the point. Is going to average basically 20 and 10. Keeps everybody happy and involved. Also, Blake Griffin. He's going to get you 22-12 like he did last year. They re-signed DeAndre Jordan. He's going to play center, run, jump, dunk, block shots. I think the balance that they have really allows this team to grow with one another. Everybody's saying that they are better than L.A. on paper, but what you've seen so far with Chris Paul not getting off to the great start that everybody expected him to be, and Andrew Bynum coming back into the mix and playing the way he's playing for the Lakers right now, who's the better team in L.A.? How about this? One team is the fourth seed, one team is the fifth seed. They play each other in the first round of the playoffs. That settles L.A. But for the Clippers, also don't forget about Chauncey Billups, a big shot maker, late in games. He has championship experience. He's going to play a factor also. If one team is the fourth seed, the other team is the fifth seed, and they play in the first round, it doesn't matter who's got home court because they both play on the same. <laughs> He's Jalen Rose and Mike Hill. You can get great analysis like his all the time on the NBA Tonight.